All right, what are we doing? Making coffee. Making coffee. It's not what we're doing. Today, everybody, we're going to start off our day by showing you guys Mommy's new coffee machine. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a comprehensive review or uncomprehensive review because we're not very comprehensive about coffee, but we're going to give it our best shot. So this is Mommy's new coffee maker espresso extravaganza machine. Can't tell you too much about it besides that it is made by Mr. Coffee. This is not a paid advertisement, simply just a coffee machine that we bought. And we're all super tired so we need something to wind us up a little bit. So here we go. So to start off with, we need some coffee. This is a non-branded coffee, just the straight coffee bean here. As you can see, straight coffee bean tastes a little bit better when you eat it. <laughs> is that good? I can smell the coffee. You can eat it. Oh. That's why I put it in your mouth, is so you could eat it. How did it taste? Terrible. Do you want to try one, Trey? Come try one. Huh? Just put it in your mouth and eat it. It's a coffee bean. You can't reach up the high tray, spit it in the garbage. <laughs> that was gross. You think it was gross? How did it taste, Riley? Really? Terrible. Delicious? Mm. That's what coffee's made out of. Mm. Was it bad, Trey Trey? Alright, so we're gonna start off with our coffee. And here, if it focuses. We need to go up to the four cup line. Yeah. How are we looking at it? Does it look like it's up to the four? Yeah. Just a little more. Oh, yeah. Alright. So we're going to take the coffee beans and put it into the coffee grinder. And we'll be right back. Thumbs up. I'm giving the and this is what it came out like. So now we have our ground up coffee. The next step here you have to take this lovely doohickey and you take it off and inside of there you have the espresso filter. So we're going to pull that out and we are going to fill it up to the four line which is right here. That way we can have four shots of espresso. Uh, I think that's a little past the four line. Well that's okay because you go like this. After you put it in, you tamp it. That's called tamping. Yeah. And what tamping does, tamping kind of compresses it down. Yeah. And it creates a seal over the top of it. That way, the coffee, when the water's going through it, it makes it in so it has to go through the coffee and it can't go around the coffee. So you take this, and on the back side of it, that's what's called the tamper. Mm -hmm. It's that little flat part. And you just kind of push it down until it looks something like this. Okay. Now we put this back inside of here. Now Riley's going to put it back into the espresso machine. Put it up. And then it just goes over like that. Now the next step in the process here to get some water. 
So with this, you're going to fill it up to the amount where you are going to make. So we're going to make four shots of espresso, so it's got to go up to the... Four. The number four line. So after you do all of that, you're just going to replace the water cap. Then you're going to put this fancy lid on top of the fancy coffee pot. Stick it underneath. And flip the coffee pot onto brew. Now when you flip it onto brew, you'll see this little light come on here. And that's going to let you know that there's something cooking inside. When you see it start steaming like this, you're just going to turn it from brew to off. It's going to stop it from brewing down here. And it's going to trap all of the steam inside of it for your little steamer nozzle here. All right, so the next thing that you're going to do, you need a cup or most people use a stainless steel pitcher of some sort. And then you need some milk. You're going to take the milk and pour it into the cup. <laughs> it feels like it's a full jug. Almost. It doesn't need to be completely full, just full up until the point where you want your coffee to be. So, because we made four shots of espresso, we're going to tone down the espresso just a little bit by using a little extra milk. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our little coffee pot here. We're going to take the lid off of it, and we're just going to add some sugar to it. Because coffee without sugar is nasty. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to take just a couple of scoops of sugar here. I'm not a huge fan of coffee, so I'm going to put a little extra sugar in it. You guys don't get mad at me if I put too much sugar in my coffee. Like we said earlier, this is to help wake us up. We're going to take a nice little spoon, just kind of stir it around here inside of the coffee, inside of the espresso. I guess it's really espresso, it's not actually coffee. And then we're just going to kind of divide it between our cups. So we're going to stick some in this one. We're going to stick some in this other cup here. Now we're going to take our milk that we had. We're just going to kind of tap it on the counter here a couple of times to get all of the bubbles out of it. Ah, it's dripping. I can see that. <laughs> and then we're just going to pour it into our cups. Make a little bit of a mess on the counter. That's okay because we'll clean it up. Now that we have it all poured into our cups, we're just going to stir it up a little bit here. Make sure that it's all mixed in good. That's how does it taste. It doesn't have that much taste to it. Does it taste just like milk? No. Is it really smooth over your tongue? That's yeah. what hipsters say. It tasted like regular coffee without any sugar in it, kind of. Do we not put enough sugar in it? Nope. <laughs> now, if you want to get really creative, you can put things like chocolate in it. 
Then it turns into a mochaccino. Or some other hipster word that I can't pronounce. <laughs> Tastes a lot better with chocolate in it.